of the state of Ohio do hear, does hereby recognize the reserve on South Martin as you celebrate your grand opening ceremony. Today we celebrate the grand opening of the reserve on South Martin, a 60 unit senior housing community made possible through the partnership of the Cincinnati Metropolitan Housing Authority and the city of Mount Healthy. Thanks, Greg. Um, one of the, the community room inside the building here, we are going to uh, honor one of our uh, longtime residents, uh, Mr. Harry Wechter. Um, Harry Wechter. I just want to, want to personally uh, share some, some things about Harry um, and, his, and his wife. They lived on Hunt Ridge right here behind us. Um, they, they saw the 15 buildings that we've referenced um, in the good times in the band. And um, they, they lived through all of that. But Harry was a, Harry and his wife were very special people in Mount Healthy. Um, they're very instrumental in the, in the community. Harry did a lot of things with, with his community. But for me, you know, Har Harry and his wife always saw them walking every morning, snow, rain, and it just kind of gave you a consistency to the city. So, um, we certainly appreciate everything that Harry and his family has done for the city of Mount Healthy. So we would like to present this award. But before I do that, I want to read a biography that was prepared by his uh, son, Tim, who is, I don't see Tim, but he's out here in the audience. <laughs> there he is, there he is, Tim, Diane. So I just want to read this. Um, Harry Wechter was born on March 15, 1917 in the Wechter family home on Hamilton Avenue in Mount Healthy, so a lifelong resident. Uh, typically when you come to Mount Healthy, you stay in Mount Healthy. Um, he was the third of eventually seven children born to Edmund and Florence Wechter. He had a happy and mischievous childhood. The nuns of Assumption School had many a tale of Harry Wechter, which of course his children had to hear about when they attended Assumption. So once again, you're born in, us, you're born in Mount Healthy, you stay in Mount Healthy, and, and that's a good thing. Harry was attending Mount Healthy High School when the Great Depression hit the United States in the 1930s. His father was a painter and wallpaper hanger. There wasn't much work, so Harry and his, several of his siblings had to go to work to help put food on the table. He did nu numerous jobs in Mount Healthy and the city of Cincinnati, including soda fountain jerk and an elevator operator in the Carew Tower. Shortly after starting a new career as a meat cutter at Wool and Weber's Market, which is also in Mount Healthy, Harry and the greatest generation were called to save the world from tyranny. Harry joined the Army and quickly showed his leadership skills and advanced to the rank of Technical Sergeant E6 and was assigned to the 4th Infantry Division as Harry reminded everyone the famous 4th. He became a surgical assistant in the front lines. Harry landed on Utah Beach on D-Day, June 6, 1944 and participated in the five major battles of Europe. His, his unit also liberated the infamous Dachau concentration camp. He was awarded the Bronze Star for Valor. His exploits were chrono, uh, chronicled in the Cincinnati Enquirer for two consecutive Sunday papers on the 50th anniversary of D-Day. The Enquirer took Harry back to England and Europe and traced his war journey in separate inserts of the Sunday papers. Harry met the love of his life during leave, but before going to war, Rosemary Pfister. Um, they married upon his return to Mount Healthy. Following the war, Harry returned to Woolen Weber's Market as a meat cutter and quickly became a pillar of the community. In later years, Harry became a meat inspector for the state of Ohio, again showing his leadership skills. Rosemary and Harry raised three children, Tim, Tammy, and Tom, in Mount Healthy. Harry was an usher at Assumption Church for over 50 years. He was also the commander of the firing squad at Wesley Warner American Legion Post in Mount Healthy for over 50 years, presiding over hundreds of his fellow veterans' funerals. Harry's legacy is substantial. Although he was denied a chance at a formal education, he and Rosemary made sure their children received that opportunity. All three are college graduates and leading very successful lives across the United States. His legacy includes three children and I believe five grandchildren, all college graduates, including a, veteran, a veterinarian and an orthopedic surgeon, and ten great-grandchildren. You will find Harry's love of country, 
throughout his entire family. If he were with us today, he would be grateful and humbled that his beloved Mount Healthy would honor him for just doing my job. Uh, also want to say, you know,